Hello everybody, konnichiwa. Today's video is a little bit different than usual. We will go to very fresh fish market today and we try to make some Japanese food. One thing which is difficult for Japanese to live in overseas is food. Me living in Berlin, it was always difficult to get fresh fish. But finally, we managed to find really good fresh fish. Fish shop, which made me really, really happy, especially during this lockdown time. Yes, in Germany we still have quite hard lockdown, so none of restaurant is open. So I have to cook by myself most of the time. So today, let's see what kind of fresh fish they have, and I would like to show you my imperfect Japanese cooking. I can buy the freshest fish here. It is directly imported from all over the world. Look at these fish, shrimp, scallops, clams, octopus. You can choose anything you want. Okie dokie. We are back from the shop. I think I actually bought too much. But I hope I can choose something really nice. To you guys. Let's go back to my kitchen. So now we are back. Welcome to my humble kitchen. I'm wearing really really cute octopus apron that my friend made. Mm. And unboxing or unwrapping. Let's see what I got. It's so heavy. Wow. Oh my god. Hang on, hang on, wait a moment. This is huge, right? I have no idea how to treat such a big thing. Whoa. Okay, let me try. First, I will scale and cut the fish thoroughly. It is so heavy! Now wash it with super cold water and wipe off water with clean kitchen paper. Okay, now I'm gonna chop the head off. I only have this um, house knife, which is amazing, that I brought from Japan. This is not really professional fish knife. Fish might be too big for my knife, but I will try my best. Okay, let's see. Mm. So I'm gonna chop from here all the way here. Mm-hmm, going well. Very good. Very good. Very good. The side. Mm. Very good. The problem is this bone so hard. Please.
finally, finally detached. Katana and knife should be strong and sharp enough. Let's fillet the fish. Making three parts now. Do you eat fish? What is your favorite way of eating fish? I, of course, love sashimi and sushi. Sushi is raw fish on top of slightly vinegared rice. Sushi actually means sour rice. It doesn't have to be with fish. So, veggie sushi, vegan sushi, meat sushi, they are all sushi. Sashimi is sliced of raw fish. Different way of slicing fish to sushi. This is what I make today. I love raw fish, but not always the best way to eat. Some fish has pretty dominant aroma that could be too much to eat raw. Some are simply not possible for health reason. This red snapper is so fresh. Can't wait to try a sashimi with wasabi and soy sauce. Mmm. That bird? Wow, that's not great. That's so messy. The all meat is in the middle bone. This is very, very, very um, beginner's result. I hope none of my Japanese friend is watching. But what I can say is I don't waste this great meat because even middle part, I will cook and eat it. Not as sashimi, of course, but for second or third dish. So to cook another dish, I cut the main bone. I think I will shimmer it with ginger, soy sauce, and bit of sugar. Oh gosh, I'm struggling to cut it. Like again, I'm saying, I'm not teaching you how to cook. I rather would like to know if there is anyone who can help me and give me good tips. Okay, now I'm gonna take off uh, skin. Japanese learn how to fillet a fish in school. Of course, with smaller ones that are easier to handle. But later in life, you normally don't have to do it. Fish markets in Japan give perfect service to clean and fillet, or preparing the way you want to, even at supermarkets. So I never thought I would do this again. And simply, this size. I feel like I became fisherman or more like samurai in a battlefield. <laughs> Is cooking mandatory at school in your country? Which dish did you learn? So now getting there, I cut in peace. I thought about relating this vlog to other videos of mine, like Zen soothing ones, elegant phoenix or maybe strong dragon but i myself can't be graceful like those characters <laughs> so done i made some sashimi and um corner of the meat i will make different meal and head and uh, around the bone part i will cook and make another meal. Today we're only gonna eat this sashimi. Ta -da! Ta -da! It looks much much better here than in the kitchen to be honest. <laughs> well, it was so huge I didn't think that I could even handle it. But <laughs> why are you looking up? Mm, I'm just gonna look. I'm looking at that plate that's gonna be empty so quickly now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's try how it is. Cheers. Cheers. Well deserved. Mm.
Oh, is she? Very good. Mm. These two are different way of cutting. Mm. This one is easier to eat. Possibly. Just different way of enjoying aroma and taste. A little bit of wasabi on top. Mm -hmm. Soy sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, I see. How do you like the taste? Ah, excellent. Very good. Lekker. As a journalist and writer, you have to express more like texture is like blah 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 <laughs> yeah but as a human being i don't like to talk when i eat <laughs> okay <laughs> see you later so all the sashimi that i prepared is now gone mm, it was very very nice at the end as i said again and again this is not something that I teach you today, but I really, really wanted to share of my real life, which is not really perfect, but why not? I tried to find some Japan in Berlin and I tried to find how Japanese I can be, not only passport. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please, please, please like and subscribe my channel. That would be amazing. Leave the comment how you thought about this kind of videos. If there are many people who like this kind of video, I try to make more of these vlog with private life and such too. Thank you very, very much for watching today. Have a good day and have a good night. Bye, matane.